Hey guys, ZeroTech00 here and today I'm gonna test the Avast Premium Antivirus vs the Mandela Malware so without any further ado, let's get straight into the first test. So as you guys usually know, the first test is gonna be with other protections activated on the antivirus, in this case on the Avast Premium Antivirus. So with that, let's run the Mandela Malware in 3, 2 and 1. And as you guys can see, the Avast Premium Antivirus has detected and stopped the Mandela Latex malware from running, as we can see here. So, great job Avast! Now let's get further in the second test. Okay guys, so for the second test, I'm gonna run the Mandela malware once again, but this time with the Behavior Shield deactivated, as you guys can see, it's turned off. So with that, let's run the Mandela malware again in 3, 2 and 1. And as you guys can see, once again, the Mandela ADA.txt malware has got detected and stopped by the Avast Premium Antivirus as we can see here. Great job Avast! Now guys, let's get further into the third test. So guys, for the third test, I'm gonna run the Mandela ADA.txt malware once again, but this time with the file shield deactivated slash disabled as we can see here, it's turned off once again. So now let's run the Mandela ADA.txt malware for the third time in 3, 2 and 1 and okay as we can see since we don't have the behavior shield I mean since we don't have the main protection on we were able to run the malware but as we can see once again even with the file shield deactivated as you guys can see the Avast Premium Antivirus has still detected and stopped the Mandela Latexi malware from running now it tells us that we should restart the system to move the Mandela malware to the quarantine from the Avast Premium Antivirus. So now we are gonna do a restart and after that uh, we are gonna do a scan if everything seems to be fine and then a last restart for the conclusion. So now let's do the restart. And as we as can see the system has we started with success, it doesn't seem like we are infected or something, so the Avast Premium Antivirus seems like it did a great job in my opinion. Let's check the task manager for any sorts of infection, cause you never know if there is an infection ongoing from the Mandela.exe malware. And as we can see there is nothing sus suspicious going on at the first glance, but obviously I'm gonna run the Avast Premium Antivirus and afterwards we are gonna do a smart scan and if everything seems to be fine in the smart scan we are gonna get into the last restart for the conclusion so now let's get into the smart scan and as you guys can see here it says that there is no malware found which is a very good sign because obviously if the Avast Premium Antivirus hasn't detected any malware then we should be fine and everything should be good to go. Just for the confirmation that we are fine with the system and stuff, uh, we are gonna do a last restart, a final restart and after that we are gonna see if the system is fine or not. Ok guys, so there we go. The system has restarted for the last time, everything seems to be fine once again with the desktop. I'm gonna check the task manager just for the last time. And as we as we guys can see here, there is nothing suspicious running in background. I don't see anything that could be that could be a malware to be honest in background. We really don't see anything suspicious going on. So guys, that's all. Thank you guys for watching this video. As a conclusion, Avast Premium Antivirus is pretty decent uh, due to the uh, dramas and stuff they had before because people claimed that the Avast software has been uh, stealing their data and stuff. Uh, due to those reasons, I'm not really gonna recommend the antivirus, but as you guys have seen, it did a very great job as detecting and stopping the malware as you guys have seen the Mandela malware was stopped so many times the system is fine we are not infected but yeah guys I can't really recommend it because of those allegations but to be honest the antivirus seems to be really good I mean there is nothing bad with it you know like I don't really see how they could steal your data and stuff but yeah 
that's all thank you guys for watching this video and also as an extra conclusion don't pirate software don't download uh, free download stuff from the internet and just be careful don't deactivate your antivirus keep all the protections on stay safe from dangerous websites and that's all thank you guys for watching and see you guys in new future videos bye bye